Hi. Welcome to One Step Ahead. It's an initiative from Gate Hour to improve the technical know how of electrical engineering graduates. Follow us on YouTube for quality content. Let's dive in. The dielectric loss angle of an underground cable is delta. Then, which of the following gives the power factor of dielectric? Option A. Tan delta. Option B. Cosine delta. Option C. Sine delta. Option D. Delta. Before going to the answer, we will discuss about underground electrical cables in detail. Underground cables are used to transmit or distribute electrical power, where usage of overhead lines prove dangerous or is difficult. These comes with a wide range of operating voltage. All electric cables essentially have three parts. One, a conductor for transmitting electrical power. This usually, is made up of stranded copper or aluminium conductors. It is known as the core of the cable. Based on number of cores, cables can be classified as single core, double core, three core or four core cables. The second part of a cable is a non-conducting material, which insulates the cores from each other and from earth. PVC and cross-linked polyethylene, or XLPE, are widely used as dielectrics and underground cables. The third part is a metallic sheath, known as armor, which protects the cable from mechanical damage, fire and chemical or electrochemical attack. When a cable is laid in sight, armoring of the cable is usually earth for safety and reliability purpose. In effect, an underground cable acts as an electrostatic capacitor, because, it has current carrying conductors separated by a dielectric material. Thus, a capacitance is formed between cores of the cable. Apart from that, the armor of the cable acts as another metallic plate, and a capacitance is induced between cores and the armor. Thus, there are six capacitances formed. C1 between the cores, and C2 between cores and the armor. Now, the delta connected capacitor can be converted into equivalent star. Then the capacitance value becomes 3C1 in each branch. Since the star point and armor are at earth potential, the capacitors 3C1 and C2 of each branch are now in parallel as shown. Therefore, the effective capacitance of each branch is 3C1 plus C2. Now, let's understand dielectric loss. By now, we know that an underground cable is a sort of capacitor. Under ideal conditions, no current flows in between the cores, through the dielectric medium. But, in reality, there will be a small current which flows from one core to the other and from each core to the sheath, through the dielectric medium. This current results in a small power loss in the form of heat. Therefore, this can be modeled as a high resistance in parallel with the capacitance. Now, we will draw the phasor diagram of the underground cable. Suppose a voltage V be applied across each core of the cable. The voltage phasor can be taken as the reference. This will result in a current through the resistance R, with a magnitude of V divided by R. The current that will flow through the capacitance is given by V divided by, 1 by omega C, which is equal to V into omega C. Since, the resistance R, has a huge ohmic value, the magnitude of current flowing through R, will be much less, when compared to the current flowing through the capacitor. We can now find out the phasor sum of these two currents, to get the net current that flows through the cable. We can see that the net current makes an angle phi, with the voltage phasor, and an angle delta, with the capacitor current phasor. This angle delta, is known as, the dielectric loss angle. Dielectric loss is, the power dissipated in the resistance. Therefore, it can be expressed as, P equal to, V square divided by R. From the phasor diagram, tan delta can be written as, V by R, divided by, V omega C. Therefore, V divided by R, equal to, V omega C into tan delta. If we multiply both side by V, it will give, V square divided by R, equal to, V square omega C into tan delta. Since the value of resistance is huge, delta is very much small and tan delta can be approximated as delta. Therefore, dielectric loss is given by, P, equal to V square omega C into delta. This is the background we needed, to answer the question about the power factor, of the dielectric of an underground cable. 
Power factor of the dielectric is the cosine of the angle between current and voltage phasors. From the phasor diagram, phi equal to 90 minus delta. Therefore, cos phi equal to cos 90 minus delta, which is equal to sine delta. Therefore, the answer to the question is option C, that is sine delta. Hope you enjoyed the information. Thanks for watching, and goodbye for now. Be tuned to Gate Hour for the next quiz of One Step Ahead.